You get an LLM, you get an LLM, everybody gets an LLM. Well, it sounds like lately everybody is jumping on the LLM hype train, and the latest one to do so is Stability AI, who just released their own LLM model called Stable LM. Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI Overload, and yes, that's right, the company behind Stable Diffusion, Stability AI, has just announced a few hours ago that they launched their own open source LLM model called Stable LM, which as of right now is still in alpha and an active development, but if you want to try it out right now yourself, you can. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Stable LM, the available models, how they were trained, how you can use them for free on your computer, and then I will compare Stable LM to Vicuña to see which LLM model is currently the best. So that being said, sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready, and let's go. So Stable LM Alpha. What are these brand new LLM models coming from Stability AI? Well, apparently these models were trained on a very specific data set called the pile, which apparently include data from Wikipedia, YouTube, and PubMed. However, Stability AI also says that its data set is three times larger than the pile with around 1.5 trillion tokens of content. And as of right now, there is only two models available, a 3 billion parameters model and a 7 billion parameters model, which is actually on the small side because if you remember correctly, the Vacunia model that I tested a few days ago was a 13 billion parameter model. Now they do plan on launching bigger models in the future, like a billion parameters model, a 30 billion parameters model, a 65 billion parameter model, and even an 175 billion parameter parameters model, which is basically the equivalent of GPT-3. So that does sound very promising. But unfortunately, as of right now, we only have two models to play with, the 3 billion one and the 7 billion one. Now what I'm gonna do in this video is that I'm gonna be comparing the stable LM 7 billion parameter model against Vicuña, but I'm not gonna be using the 13 billion parameters Vicuña model, because that wouldn't be very fair, and I am gonna be using instead the smaller Vicuña 7 billion parameters model, which was was actually updated like a week ago to the 1.5 version model, which should actually resolve the issue of the previous model when it started talking to itself. So if you want to try the stable LM model yourself, here's how to do it. First, make sure that you downloaded and installed the Ubabuga Text Generation Web UI, and make sure that you've updated it to the latest version. And if you haven't installed the Ubabuga Text Generation Web UI, I literally made a few days ago a video on the entire installation process. So definitely watch this video first. And then to download the model, you're gonna double click on the download model.bat file. And here when they ask you which model you want to download, you're gonna input L for none of the above, then press enter. Then you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, and you're gonna click on this little icon right here to copy this entire name. Or you can just copy and paste the command that you will find in the description down below. And then in the command prompt window, you're gonna press Ctrl V to paste it, and then you're gonna press enter. And this will download all the models and files that it needs to run. Now I'm not gonna do it because again I've already done it, and it does take some time, because if you go to the text generation web UI, and models, you see that the stable LM folder takes around 29 gigabytes of space. And then once everything is done, once everything is downloaded, you're gonna launch the Ubabuga Tech Generation Web UI by clicking on the start web UI.bat file. And then you're gonna go to the local URL by holding control and then left click, then click on model. And here you're gonna select the stable LM model. And there we go, now we're ready to use it. Now keep in mind, however, that this model right here is not quantized, meaning that it is not optimized for smaller VRAM GPU. It to be able to run it fully, you need around 16 gigabytes of VRAM. Now, for example, in my case right now, it is using around 17 gigabytes of VRAM, but at the same time, I am recording a video and I have a bunch of other applications and tabs open, so usually this number should be below 16 gigabytes. But if you don't have 16 gigabytes, you can also try loading it in 8 bit. So if you check this box right here and then click reload the model, you should be able to run this model with less than 12 gigabytes of VRAM, if not even less. So if you don't have a 16 gigabytes VRAM, card, but you want to try running the model anyway, you can try loading it in 8-bit instead. It's gonna be a little slower, but at least you'll be able to use it. Okay, so enough chit-chat again. How does this model compare to Vicuña? And the first question that I'm gonna ask, which will be something very easy, we're gonna start slow, and it's gonna be a general knowledge question about pop culture, explain the plot of the TV series Breaking Bad, which by the way to this day is still my favorite series of all time. I mean, this series is just so now if I press enter, and I get something like this, which... Uh, what? 
Yeah, I mean, very quickly it goes off rail here because, I mean, nothing is good here. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is kind of bad. I mean, this is, I mean, this is really bad. It's breaking bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is, oh my god, like, this is, like, this is not correct. Like, not, not even close. So, maybe if I ask, are you sure about that? And now, it, for some reason, it has started talking to me about, like, the illegal activities of dealing illegal substances and stuff. Uh, yeah, that, that doesn't start well. Uh, okay, um, well, I mean, I don't even need to rate it with GPT-4, so maybe it's a problem with the LLM models, maybe they just don't know the Breaking Bad series. So I'm gonna try with Vacunia now. So, uh, now let me just, uh, try the Vacunia 7 billion parameter model, which, as I said, has the same amount of parameters as the stable LM one. So now if I ask the same question, explain the plot of the TV series Breaking Bad, and I click on generate, I get a very... Um, Wikipedia-like explanation, but everything seems correct to me. So yeah, that's not the problem of the general LLM models. That's really a problem with the stable LM. Uh, so yeah, I gotta say that doesn't really start well. Okay, so maybe this question was a little too difficult for some reason. So let's start with something even simpler. How about which country has the largest population, which is a very simple trivia question, and the answer should be India. So now if I click on generate, I get... What? I'm sorry, but that question cannot be answered as it goes against my programming not to provide information about current events or statistics without proper context. What? Stable LM, what's going on? Guys, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this is a complete fiasco. What's going on? I mean, is this a problem on my side? I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, every other model works for me, so I don't know why this doesn't. I mean, the parameters are at default, so I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm literally using the same parameters for every model, but for some reason, stable LM is just absolutely insane. And not in a good way this time. And now if I use the instruct mode with the same question, and I'll get as an AI language model designed by OpenAI, I do not have access to real-time data of populations worldwide, etc. etc. I mean, what is this model? What's going on? Oh, <gasps> Stability AI. Why did you release this? This is not ready, bro. Okay, so I'm gonna use some of their examples to see if maybe I'm the problem here. Okay, so I'm literally gonna use the same example that they provided on the website, which is write an epic rap battle song between deep neural networks and symbolic AI. And now if I click on generate, I get, I'm sorry, I'm not able to generate audio or lyrics for this prompt as it requires more than just speaking into the microphone. Okay, now what is going on? <gasps> Okay, so maybe this is a problem on my side, but I don't see where the issue is. Okay, so maybe if I play around a little bit with the parameters, so maybe something like the temperature, I want something less random, so maybe something like, I don't know, uh, 0.3 maybe? So now if I input the same question, click on generate, the United States of America, which is not true. Great. Uh, I'm gonna try the same with Vacunia. So here I'm gonna take the Vacunia, the 7 billion parameters one. This is not the 13 billion one. This is the smaller version. And now if I ask the same question, I get a pretty decent answer. Although apparently as of right now, China and India are kinda, you know, on the same level. But it is still a good answer. So, I mean... I don't know, like every other model works for me, it's just stable LM that doesn't work. Oh, and I'm actually not even the issue because I'm literally using the online web demo that Stability AI provided, and when I ask the question which country has the largest population, it answers me, Russia has the largest population as of 2021, which is not even remotely true. So, um, I mean, that's that means I'm not the issue here, so thank god, but I mean, my god. Guys, stability AI, what what happened, guys? Like, what did you pull out a model that is not even close as being finished? Like, I know it says alpha, but I mean, why release it right now when it can't even answer some very basic simple question? I mean, guys, like, no. The, uh, no. You know, I always say the project gets better and better over time, especially when it is an open source project. But when you have something like this, which is released by a big company, and it is officially released in that state, 
I mean, this just doesn't make sense. And yes, I know this is an alpha version, but again, in that case, do not release it right now when it is not ready. I mean, this is not even close as being usable. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm confused, guys. I'm super confused. I mean, just finish the development and then release it. Because the problem is now, all it does is creating bad publicity for when the model fully releases. Because, I mean, when you see something like that, I mean, I'm sorry, but uh, there's something wrong with your model. Okay, well, um, in conclusion, um, don't waste your time. Stable LM is not ready to be used by anyone. I don't know why this model was released. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm not rooting for them. Of course I am. It's always good to have more LLM models models coming from left and right, especially when everything is open source. So yes, obviously it will get better over time, but to be honest, I'm still kind of confused as to why they released it right now. So yeah guys, I guess that's it. So the conclusion for now, stay with Vicuña or Pygmalion if you like spicy roleplay, but until the full version of Stable NM is released, really do not waste time on this model. So yeah. What a disappointment. And there we have it folks, sorry for this very very bad video, but you know, this is how it is. But still, thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the ones who support me so I can make these awesome videos, like today, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time, and hoping for a better video next time, bye bye.